Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick 9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Hogan's Heroes. More specifically about the amazing actor Leon Askin. Now, Leon Askin played General Burkhalter on the show Hogan's Heroes. And I do want to tell you his thoughts on the show. I do want to give a little bit of background on him. This video is by no means a biography or a complete history on his life. But I do want to highlight some things before I go into his thoughts. I do also want to say if you let me know down in the comments below that you just subscribe because of this video, I will pick a few of you and shout you out in my next video. So go ahead and do that. Let me know what you think of the channel and of course of this video and your thoughts on General Burkhalter Leon Askin. In this video, I will also release the winner to the Hogan's Heroes absolutely new complete third season DVD. Now in the previous Hogan's Heroes video, I did give everyone a chance and I will pick a winner in this video. So make sure to watch the entire thing to know if you won. Now he was born in 1907 in Vienna, Austria. His real name was Leon Ashkenazi. That is a very Jewish name and he never hid the fact that he was Jewish. His entire life, he just wanted to be an actor. Now, in 1933, when Hitler took power and was named Chancellor of Germany, as a Jew, Askin was dismissed from the theater. In fact, in April of that year, he was arrested and beaten by the Gestapo. That is very important to highlight. There are much more instances of him having difficult times with the German authorities, the German soldiers of the time because of him being a Jew. And that is super important into highlighting his thoughts on the show because of course he did play a German general. And some people could say, how in the world was he capable of doing that with everything that did happen in his life? At one point, he was even placed in a French prison camp because of his Austrian citizenship. So again, this man, has a lot of history with Germany and that terrible history at the time. I do want to mention moving more into the character, his thoughts on playing General Burkhalter. And it's really interesting because now whenever you see the show, you can think about this. He said that he portrayed Burkhalter as always being irritable, always being upset. A man who realized that he had just swallowed a rotten olive. That is his exact thoughts, guys and gals. A rotten olive and if you look at him he does make like a soured face remember this is a kind of a satire of these characters of these individuals while not making them hokey or campy but kind of falling in between that line because of his background and his history in Austria at the time and dealing with Germany in this part of history his role was pretty much natural for him. That's at least what he said. Now, he was subjected to questions and even criticism on why he was able to play a German general as a Jewish actor. It just didn't make sense, especially in a comedic role. Now, he explains it in this quote. He says, from the very beginning, Hogan's Heroes as a show was misunderstood. It was about a POW camp, a prisoner of war camp. In other words, a Stalag. Now, in Stalags, there are soldiers under the Geneva Convention. It was not a concentration camp. Those are two very different things. Now, he continued, if you want to make fun of your enemy, if you want to belittle them, the best way you can do is to use humor. That was his thought, that humor was the greatest weapon. Whether your enemy was French, American, German, whatever, it didn't matter. Humor was your best weapon. Now, the controversy in his mind was idiotic. Askin said that he played Burkhalter pretty much straight as an army officer. He had a discussion with a colleague who played an SS officer, and he always said that he couldn't make him straight, that he had to portray him as a kind of a caricature. But Askin disagreed with this because he said if you did that, you hurt the cause because that's not what a real SS officer was. A real SS officer was never a caricature, but a life-threatening person. To do that would be a gross misinterpretation of what acting is supposed to do. I want to know your thoughts of Leon Askin playing the part of Burkhalter. I absolutely loved him in the part. I thought he was like this just evil, amazing character who was funny at the same time. And I love to see him come in and see him kind of take possession in the role and make Clink squirm. 
but at the same time making us laugh and being kind of an idiot himself. And that's how Askin wanted to play it. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, the winner of the Hogan's Heroes Season 3 DVD giveaway. And the winner is Tanya E. Now I don't know how to say your last name, pardon me for that, it's E-H-E-M-A-N. Um, I did message you, so be sure to please message me back confirming that you did get that and your DVD will be sent right away. Thank you for all of those who participated. A lot of you entered and I will be giving more DVDs away, so stay tuned and make sure to watch all the videos to know when the next giveaway is. Thank you as always for liking, commenting, and subscribing on this video. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what you think. Don't forget to stay positive, always better yourself, and most importantly, be hopeful. Thank you so much to my supporters, Kenneth B, Verbal Volley, as well as fantastic Patreon supporters, Rick Drew, Andrew B, David D, and Joe Rayo.